you sure you'll be able to get home all right? Yeah, I know the way. <sighs> all right. Goodbye, Coral. This isn't going to be our last goodbye. Huh? Yeah, I'll come back. The land is super fun. If you have something important to say, throw a message in a bottle. I'll get it. Eventually. <laughs> okay, have a safe trip. Thanks. See you soon, Robolang. See you soon, Coral. lacking people of your skill set. You'd be really helpful joining the group. And that means... You want to work with me and be our detective. Sure, but do you really think... Oh, I don't think. I know you are perfect for this. Meet me in my office when we get back, okay? Okay. Zila, you are so lucky to have people who care about you. Because if that was not the case, we would not have spent an hour trying to dig you up. I didn't bury myself that deep, did I? Uh, are you kidding? If we were in the first dimension, I'm pretty sure we'd be able to see China right now. So after we fell into the underground society, we decided to go to the beach because Coral had to go home, and I wound up burying myself in the sand, and it's safe to say Rydron wasn't too happy about that, but you know. That sounds like you had quite the adventure. Yeah, wouldn't do it again, though. I'm still in shock that Cardolan even helped you in the first place. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Wait, didn't you say that Cardolan only helped you because he knew what you were doing for the kingdom? Uh, yeah, that was his only reason. That means he knows about the underground society. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh my gosh, how come nobody noticed that sooner? Relax, you were desperate to get out. You'd been stuck for a while and, well, all of you were expected to die. Yeah, that's true too. We all better get going. Class is about to start. Oh crap, let's go, I don't want to be late! Class? Starting? Since when? Don't be stupid. Uh... And just so you know, I won't do anything. Huh? I heard what you and Zila were talking about. Yeah, I know the underground society exists, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. What would I even do? Thanks for the reassurance, but I'm not too sure how well I believe that. I never said you had to believe it. I was just simply stating my truth. But just so you know, I have no interest in interfering with any of you. Just as long as you stay in your own lane, I really don't care anymore. But what about Arvin? I knew you were gonna say that. Arvin and I are not as close as we appear. I owe her no information. Either way, what would I even tell her? I don't even know where it is. You better get moving. Class is starting in literally 30 seconds. Wow, that sounds like a lot. 
It was, but it's over for now, so I guess that's good. Well, in regards to the war and all that terrible stuff, what do you think will happen next? Couldn't tell you even if I tried, but honestly, I'm prepared for the worst. I need to say something like that. I actually have a whole ton of spells and plans that I wanted to share with you, just in case we're gonna be here for hours. <laughs> nah. Yeah, we most definitely will. Please don't do that ever again. Yeah! Not only was that terrible, that was scary! Sorry. That's all you have to say for yourself? S sorry Sydney, shouting is unnecessary. No! Shouting is how I get my emotions out, and if I can shout at you all night, I will shout as much as I want. You understand me? Um. <laughs> and as for you, Milo! Ow! What the heck was that for? For disappearing as well! Why do you care? According to Greasy, you forgot about me. Hush! She's lying! Uh, no she isn't. Oh my god! Where'd you get the book from? That's not fair, you didn't slap Lee. Not that you should. That's because he's baby. You're just a butthole. Oh. I'm gonna go pass away. I guess everything worked out in the end, huh? I have a crayon up my nose. Good job, stupid. Ugh. Do you remember if we need to head east or west? Oh, don't ask me. I'm just your stupid, klutzy sister. Why, I gotta- Hey! Huh? Hi, hi, hello! Heidi, what were you saying about my plan backfiring? Shut up, we don't know anything yet. I mean, your plan almost backfired. I mean, they almost killed me, but I'm alive and well, as you can see. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hush! Don't rub it in! Well, what is it, Heidi? Any new information? Oh, unfortunately, not much at all, no, except for one little minor thing. Uh-huh. I know where the relics are. You what? Oh, good job! Yes! Everyone in the underground society thinks they're so fast, but unfortunately they're so slow! I was in there. I know where they are. <laughs> Fantastic work, Heidi. We will take that into accountability once we make new plans. New plans? Where are you going? This train station is oddly far away from camp, don't you think? Penswell Castle. We arranged a meeting with Princess Rainlass. No way! You guys are crazy! Oh, well, look who's talking. So... The purpose of this visit? Why, to make new plans, of course. Yes, I noted in fact that we are not strong enough to overcome the forces of Rovalang's group. I am ashamed to say that it took me a lot longer to figure out than I would have hoped. I mean, after all, Rydran is the prince. We don't have any royalty on our side. And I'm sure Rainlass would love to help, given that she has a bit of a dark past with that family. Ooh, exquisite! Might I come? If they allow you through the gates, that is. Now. Come on, it's already late. So, where have you guys been? I feel like I've looked day near all of Pennswill just to find you guys, and I couldn't. Oh, buckle up, it's a long story. I mean, at least now we know what to talk about on the walk to the castle. That, your highness, is all the information I have to offer. I know nothing of the rest. <laughs> the fact that I had to get like half of the information from these guys because they suck! Heidi, shut your mouth. So, princess, what do you think? <laughs> I think that this is going to be a lot of fun.